Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile, I'm the Anna Century, you can find that the website www.fibstalker.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname. Good evening, today is Wednesday, uh, March the 19th, 2014, and it's 10 uh, to uh, midnight in Toronto. And in this uh, brief video, I'm going to review for you all the markets. Um, uh, let's start from the euro dollar what you see uh, on the screen is the daily chart and uh, this is the red bar that we got today uh, after the um fed announcement uh, that taper tapering is going to continue and this of course uh, was a positive for the dollar and a negative for the euro and as we can see here the euro broke this level 138.45 so for the for, at the moment for the moment uh, we have to uh, rule out um, longs in this market and as now the sequence of measure move, the sequence of measure move have, has uh, failed on the daily. I'm going to uh, look for a retracement all the way to this 137.20. So any opportunity to get short to this market in this market uh, will be taken. And the first opportunity could come uh, if uh, price reaches into um, into this uh, highs to lows here, which would be the 138, 87, 90 level here. If the market gets back there and start reversing, that is going to be a very good trade. Begin pressing to first target 137, 74, and second target right at that uh, 137, 20, 21. So it's very important uh, if the market um, uh, turns here. Um, the um, the um, the actual four hour chart could put into evidence a couple of level of potential uh, um, reversal, which are these one thirty eight uh, forty five level, as well as the um, let's see, as well as this level, the um, lows to lows here. Uh, on the on the four hour chart, uh, it's better to study the 15 minutes and see um, whether there is some structure in this price. Um, unfortunately, there there is not a lot of uh, structure. Actually, actually, there is no structure in this price because we saw in 15 minutes here in three bars of 15 minutes we saw actually uh, the full um, the completion of the full move and. Um, we make the case we could make the case uh that um, um you know this uh the, the first of the of the three bar the lows would actually um be what we are trading at the moment but unfortunately there is not enough structure in this market so program trading is going to pick the level based on price um, behavior moving to the sp500 we had um, um uh, another red bar here in this market and there is now the potential as we mentioned already for this market to uh, get into the 18 um 1802 and uh, a trade uh, uh, um, uh, set up here traded where um, um, entry and shorts were ready at this very first um, a measure move short here 1864 so this is the potential to revisit uh, previous lows and continue into 1802 uh, moving to the dollar index the dollar index uh, uh, of course experienced this uh, huge bar higher and people will see a double bottom here but the reality is that uh, dollar would have continued lower uh, according to program trading if uh, there were there were no news uh, today and um, so, uh, of course, now we can anticipate uh, the start of a reversal and there is a possibility for this market to, um, uh, first of all, uh, move higher into the next level of resistance, 80.52. Uh, moving to the uh, gold uh, futures, I mean futures, uh, yesterday, you will remember that I was um, looking at a retracement, the retracement never came, but uh, this market um, traded uh, like the dollar basically with a gap down um, at the open we can see here and uh, we know that uh, this market has two level of uh, potential support one would be the next extension uh, long on the um, out the weekly time frame and as you can see price is actually at this 
133.28. So if we break below 130, uh, um, sorry, 13.19 here, um, then 13.19.70, then uh, we will we'll probably see a continuation lower into this next level of support 12.85. Uh, in order to time the short, uh, we have to see what happens after we break 13.19. If we break the number, uh, remember that we are at support at the moment. So uh, we need to see um, structure in this market and potentially this market could just keep, uh, keep trading in extension here from lows to lows. So a first level of resistance in this market would be 13.88. Above 13.41, there is the potential uh, for this market to retrace all the way, halfway back into uh, into the highs to lows, and that would be um, a short trade for this market, bringing price uh, into the 12.80. Uh, uh, moving to the US dollar versus Japanese uh, yen here. You will remember that in the last few days, I've been uh, mentioning, and actually the last few weeks, mentioning this 101.53 acted uh, as a resistance now for time. And uh, thanks to today's strength in the uh, US dollar, we also saw this pair, uh, of course, reacting at this level of support. And um, now the next level of resistance you have to watch. We, are, we have already traded the level. And as we can see uh, here in, in uh, today bar, today's bar, Thursday's bar, uh, which is this uh, small bar, bar that is forming here on the, on the daily chart, Found resistance at this 102.49 to the pip, and that's not a case. That's because program trading is actually observing and trading these uh, these levels very very closely. And um, we saw already yesterday a, a, a failure of this uh, next um, uh, level, uh, and uh, so now um, it's important to study the. The 15 minutes to see what happened there. As we can see here, we don't have a lot of structure, but still we can actually um, trace the next uh, uh, measure moving the sequence. Uh, you will see here that we had lost two highs trading. Price went into first target, uh, went above second target, and then we had uh, again highs to highs here and. Um, is the next level uh, that um, we'll be trading. Maybe this level has traded already, but if tomorrow we get into 102.18 and we see a reaction higher, that's an entry to stop below 102.05. Um, uh, I need to retrace this um, uh, because uh, we need to be quite precise on the smaller time frame. So uh, this is 102.61.60. Uh, the level of um, stop. Moving to the pound versus the Japanese yen, of course, this market too um, benefited uh, from the uh, move higher we had in the um, in the dollar. And uh, again, we're seeing um, support at this level. So um, at this level, you would see participation. We added um, strength of the dollar and the news that we have today. Of course, um, this becomes uh, a self-fulfilling prophecy. And uh, now we, <clears throat> again, we need to see what is going to happen to price when we get to these highs to lows, and that would be that would be um, a level that we have to observe very very carefully. Uh, one could uh, could uh, mention here an elden, uh, um, um, head and shoulder pattern here forming. That's not what I'm going to look at. I just look at the levels. Um, I don't look at the uh, traditional um, technical analysis formation here. But this is what a lot of people will, will go are going to see in this market. The real reason why. There might be a reaction lower to this at uh, this level 178.68 and forming the high shoulder is because program trading is actually looking at this level uh, in the uh, daily uh, time frame. Moving to the pound versus the US dollar, you will remember that I've been looking at this 165.41. Now it's uh, it's uh, more than one month here since. Um, 
the beginning of uh, the first week of uh, the second week of February here so we have we are at support at the moment we hit um, targets as you can see here now to the pip um, uh, just yesterday and uh, we are we are a support we know very well that in order to confirm the support we need to break the sequence of measure move so uh, we will need to see price uh, going moving above this level on the daily this is um, this is quite a long way to go uh, but that's a confirmation on the daily uh, 166.37 and uh, on the um, five minutes sorry on the uh, four four hour chart here um we need to look at the uh, structure in the um in the four hour chart here we had uh, highs to lows actually they were the highs uh, from um, from february here mid of february uh, so highs to lows and uh, we got this trade and this is the daily trade i showed you before to the pip to the 161.08 target and, um, and then we had a continuation here lows to uh, sorry highs to lows which again um, uh, broke price into the same similar targets on the smaller time frame so on this four hour time frame the um, the confirmation of support of the daily support will come at a better level at a lower level and this is the 61 0.8 percent this 165 98 99 level we get above this level daily support is confirmed and we're going to we can trade the breakout from this level what i call the four hour um continue the four hour um confirmation breakout and put a stop below lows and see what happens notice though uh, that with the um, dollar strength uh, if that strength continues and we don't know ju that just yet because anything can happen then we could actually see just a continuation lower for this market so if this market gets 165.80 and continues lower then that level of support may be invalidated if uh, the market continues lower moving to the Australian dollar versus the uh, US dollar we had a reversal again because of uh, strength in the dollar here again we are in this um, lateral move and we know that uh, uh, this is uh, this is a, a, a um, consolidation um, um, a consolidation formation which can actually uh, be a continuation or a reversal and we don't know that um, you will remember that um, yesterday I provided this level of support that worked well uh, and we're pressing to first target uh, but then uh, today that level failed and the market actually tried to um, hold on this uh, uh, internal uh, measure move here and uh, but then it couldn't make it and it broke 090.91 and the price uh, actually continued lower um as you can see here so at the moment uh, we are uh, in an extension move on this time frame and one level of potential resistance if we move higher would be from these uh, lows to lows uh, and we need to keep this in mind uh, this level uh, one oh mm, uh, 190.45 could act as a resistance here and um, could actually we could actually see market continuing lower if we don't break this 090.61 uh, US dollar versus Canadian dollar continued higher on the other side and um, of course US dollar strength is gonna is going to bring this price higher and we're already challenging that level of a big resistance on the weekly so there is a possibility for the US dollar to continue appreciating uh, on the Canadian dollar and um, we'll need to see what happens and uh, we'll need to understand where we can catch uh, this nest reaction and um, same things for the um, uh, New Zealand dollar versus US dollar we have these highs to highs this is going to be the next level of support 
5.15 with a stop below 84.86. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that this video is uh, useful. Don't worry about these reversals. Uh, I mean, if the market is continuing lower, it will give us a, a short entry this time. Thank you very much for, your, for sticking around and watching this video. And have a great day tomorrow, a great trading week uh, continuation. Bye-bye now.